the next thing I remember, wake up, wake up, wait up, hey kiddo, did you play Fudger? What? I look up, my father's there, he's looking at me, he looks at the clock, he says, did you play Fudger? Did you play the morning prayer? I look around, the sun's already up, it's a new day, the sun's came up. And my dad's starting to try and get off the bed and move his arms as if he's going to get from the bed to go to the bathroom or something or try to get off the bed. And I, and I say, wait, 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 don't move, don't move. I take a deep breath because I'm not really sure I'm alive. And I look at him again and I say, Daddy? You okay? Because I'm not really sure. Then he nods his head. He says, I haven't prayed Fudger yet. It's time to pray Fudger. <laughs> and I say, okay, 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 you don't have to move. <laughs> you can you can just you don't have to get up and go to the bathroom to make ablution or make with just make with right there. You can make payamum, you can make with in the air. And you can you can pray lying down. It's okay, just pray lying down, it's, it's definitely allowable in your situation. He smiles at me, and I say, Daddy, are, are you okay? And he says, yep. He said, do you know what happened? He said, what happened? He said, you weren't here before. <laughs> you were gone. <laughs> do you remember anything? No, I don't remember anything. Just shakes his head. Days go by, weeks go by. He gets transferred from one hospital to the next hospital, one situation to the next. He needs to be put on a heart transplant. He needs a new heart. The machine's been running for a week, two weeks, three weeks, it's starting to get to the limit. The heart's not supposed to be on the machine for this long. He needs a new heart. I'm in a terrible situation. We don't have insurance, and I'm trying to figure out how to even afford anything, let alone a heart transplant. I'm thinking, okay, we have property and money and real estate, and I need to start selling everything, and I don't have any liquid cash, let alone hundreds of thousands of dollars, and the hospital's telling us, you know, your uh, father's actually a Canadian citizen, which means he's not actually going to be able to get a heart in the United States. So we have kind of a situation and, well, you know, but we're going to give him the best of care and they're trying to arrange different things. And after a few weeks in the hospital, the uh, staff arranged for him to be transported, air vacked from the hospital in Houston to Toronto, Canada, and to be taken on by the uh, Canadian medical system because he's a Canadian citizen. My mother and my father get flown out. They go by ambulance from the hospital to the airport and flown out on a, a medical evac from Houston to Toronto. And the weirdest part for me was the fact that after all these months of me being the son serving my dad, I was staying in Houston with my family. Not by even choice. They were only letting my mother go on the plane and I didn't know what was going to happen next. So the next weeks or so, we're, we're in Houston and within 11 days of being in Canada, my father's not dead. He's alive. And he has a new heart. What? So quickly? They were telling us months and months and months. He just left. It, was, it wasn't like last week he left. It's only been 11 days. He's got a, a new heart. Arrange for a trip. Me, my sister in Houston, we fly 
up to Toronto because we want to go and see my dad. This is just crazy. He's been taken back in for a, another major surgery and he's had a heart transplant. They found a viable donor and my dad is coming too. Me and my sister fly back to Toronto. We go see my dad. We're there at his bedside and he's waking up and he's re recovering. And he's not going to die. And he has a new heart. And there I am again. It's been months later. And I'm at the same scene where my father is unconscious and I'm waiting for him to come too. And he's got a brand new heart and I'm saying, to him looking at him. Daddy? Are you okay? Is that really you? Ah, uh, brothers and sisters. The truth is hard. It takes a long struggle. And we were just in the beginning, because everybody knows there's no easy fix. There's no new heart. There's no new limb in the physical form that just fixes anything. And yeah, he might have a new heart, but he's going to constantly need monitoring, constantly need drugs, constantly need supervision. He's going to be in and out of the hospital on a regular basis. But he's alive. He's not dead. And I'm starting to think, maybe I, maybe I don't have to let him go in my heart. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this because he's alive. He's, he's not dead. I've been trying to control my emotions and I've been holding them back, but maybe he's, he's, he's going to live. Maybe he, 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 I think he, I think he's alive. I mean, he's alive. I, I think. But he's going to need constant care. And he's going to need constant medical treatment. And he's not moving back to the States. He's going to need to stay here in Canada. Wait, my father's alive. He's got a new heart. But he's not even going to be with me. I got to figure out what I'm doing. I don't understand what any of this means. I can't comprehend what all of this is about. Because I really haven't paid attention to the deeper meaning of anything, brothers and sisters. There I sat with my father, who has a brand new heart and a new life. His chest has been cut open. I could see the mark in his chest where his heart had been removed. A quote from Anas Ibn Malik. My name's Salim Siddiqui. You're listening to HotConflict.com and as you know, brothers and sisters, this is the strangest story you have ever heard. Are there brothers out there who say we are searching for the truth of the lion heart? My name is Sabim, son of Shamshad, from the family of Siddiq, and I say to all those, like the random brother Muhammad, or any of those who think they have been contacted or understand the vibration and frequency of the heart of a lion, I extend to you my hand brothers and sisters, in friendship 
and brotherly love, giving you everything that I have from my heart, freely asking of you nothing. I tell you the truth of what I thought and what I felt, and I ask of you nothing but to remember, I am a son of Adam, like you. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I do stupid, stupid things and have crazy, crazy ideas. Sometimes I am a royal screw-up. But I'm still your brother. So what I say, my brothers and sisters, I give you all that is in my heart, freely asking of you nothing. And I say, take my hand. Oh, brothers and sisters, take a deep breath. My name is Salim. I'm your brother. Are you with me? Salamu alaykum. Peace.